Hi everyone and welcome back to my creative ego. As you can probably tell today I am making waterfall cards. So it's just basically a card that has this type of cascading effect and it's super simple to make and I'll show you how to do that today. So I'm going to continue using my budget friendly materials because I still have a lot of them left. As you know, I bought a pack of manila folders that were very inexpensive and then a pack of mailing envelopes that only cost me about 99 cents for 100 pieces. And then to that, I'm adding on some of the paper that I already have, which was this mini scrapbook pack. And then I added some of my stickers, but you can also use stamps for this project as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Using your manila folder, you'll need to cut a piece that is six and a quarter inches by three and three eighth inches. And then you're going to need to choose which paper you want to use a decorative paper. And this decorative paper has to measure six and one eighth inches by three and a quarter inches. And from a white piece of cardstock, you're going to need to cut out a few pieces. The first piece is going to be six and one eighth inch by three and a quarter inch. And then you'll need three squares that are two and a quarter inch by two and a quarter inch and then three pieces of pink cardstock that measure two and a half inches by two and a half inches. Once again, another three squares, and then a piece or a strip of paper that is two and a half inches by 10 inches, and you're gonna score that at two and a half inches, three and a half inches, and four and a half inches. And when you fold this, it's all gonna go in the same direction. So I'm just using a ruler to help me with my fold lines, and I'm just gonna fold these all downwards in one direction. And then I'm gonna cut out another strip of paper that measures three and three eighths by one inch. So all these different measurements can seem a bit overwhelming and that's why I used my scoreboard for this project. So I chose these measurements based upon the envelope that I was using. So these are the measurements that I just said earlier, but I just put them all out on this one particular slide so you can see them all together. Um, so the card itself, that's the funnest part to assemble. So we'll go ahead and get into that right now. I like to use double stick adhesive and so I started off with my manila folder and on top of that I put my decorative paper and then I moved on to the square. So I have the pink square which is going to be like a mat and then the white square is where I'm going to put all of my decorations on. So if I'm going to if you're going to be using stamps, you can actually put that on to the white cardstock beforehand. But since I'm using stickers, I don't really mind, so I went ahead and did that process first. Um, and then I'm going to move on to the strips of paper. I'm just basically going to call it the green strip of paper and the orange strip of paper to make it more simplified and easier to follow. So I'm going to take the green strip of paper and I'm going to lay the orange strip of paper onto it just like this. I'm going to center the orange strip of paper because I just want to make sure that I have enough room on the right and left hand side to put double stick adhesive tape on. And then when I put that on, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this onto the card. And this is going to be about three quarters of the Way down on the card and then just to make it a little more secure I'm going to staple it on the right and left hand side so the little strawberry you see here is actually a mini stapler so I went ahead and did that and now I'm going to just insert the orange strip of paper to make sure that nothing's catching and I'm going to take that and then where I made my score lines I'm just going to put some score tape underneath that and I'm going to decorate my squares on the left hand side with stickers and you'll see on here, as you can see in the picture on the bottom, there's a piece of cardstock that looks like it is two and a half by two and a half inches, which it is. So that is where our first piece is going to go. So I put the most bulkiest item, the things that have foam tape on it, so or um, foam backing, and that's on the bottom and then I layer everything else on top and the very top layer you want to put the decoration that you want to show which is going to be the cupcake and the happy birthday um, sticker for me and so I'm just going to fold that and try to make sure that nothing catches on the right and left hand side which it looks good so I'm going to add more double stick tape onto the bottom of this green strip I'm going to peel the backing off of that and then I'm going to I'm going to fold this orange strip back down and then you'll see that it is going to catch onto the um, double stick tape and that's what you want. You want part of that to hold onto the double stick tape. So you, you see here it works perfectly fine at this point and so that's a good indication that everything was good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some mailing tape on the back. I just use mailing tape only because it's going to reinforce the paper, especially when I put the ribbon on here. 
So where the orange ribbon is at, this is where you're going to push and pull to get that waterfall or cascade effect on the card. And then I also want to decorate the back. So as you can see in the back, there's the staples that are sticking out. So I'm going to cover this with the white cardstock that we cut out earlier and then just going to put more embellishments on here on like stickers and whatnot. And then I'm going to take the extra paper that I had and I'm going to put that on the inside of this envelope. And so this is the front of the card and the back of the card. So I want to embellish it a little bit more. You can definitely leave the staples out on the front like this, or you can cover it, which I did here. And then here is another example of a soccer waterfall card that I did. So as you pull on the card to make the cascade effect, you'll notice that part of the waterfall is empty and you can actually write your message here or you can write it on the back of the card. It's up to you. So you can decorate this in any way that you want. I added more stickers on the bottom half of the card so that when you do the waterfall, it's actually decorated on both the top and bottom of the cards like this. Thanks again for watching everyone and have a great day.